Hello guys and welcome back to a new tutorial on SketchUp TV. My name is Max and today we are talking about a special topic. One of you uh, wrote a comment down in the comment section and he wanted that I uh, create more um, real life problems. So actually he was talking about this uh, video that I did, video um, about this bike sports app and he asked me what the developers should actually animate when the keyboard comes out. So imagine you are a user and you want to type in your email, your username and so on and the keyboard comes out, what part of this user interface would be animated and what part would for example slide up. So I thought why not just uh, introducing a new series on this channel that we call like real designer problems or something like that where I'm going to pick out several UI elements and we are looking at them and we are talking about what we will need to do to give our developers a nice package of resources and of prototypes for example that give them a better impression of what they will actually develop. So, as I said, we will today animate this part right here because we want to have a keyboard that slides out from the bottom and this keyboard should not hide our form, but this form should slide up. So, at first we of course have to export different assets. And we didn't do a uh, prototype in principle for a long time, so why not just doing this right now? So let's just export some of the stuff right here. You can export uh, single layers by making them exportable, like this. Let, let's add the suffix. And I also need this top part right here, which are basically these layers and I just call them gradient and I also want to make this group exportable. Like that. Then I have the email form right here with a white background. This should also be exportable but the white background um, is we are able to create we create the white background in principle later, so let's just export this one. And we need the button, but we can also recreate the button in principle, so that we don't have to do that right now. We need the status bar, of course, so we make this exportable. And we need the keyboard, and this should, of course, also be exportable, like that. Now all we have to do is select the layers and the things that we want to export. So let's just do that. And select the different groups or layers that you want to export. Like this, five things, export. I simply export them to this folder and then let's head over to principle. So right here I can install a update but we don't do that right now. Right here we have our artboard and let's just try, drag in all the elements that we have for the moment. So grab them, drag them into this. I have a folder with so much stuff right here, so sorry about that. I will make a cut and after this cut I will have all the images in the in the principal app. Yeah, so I saw that I have a problem because the keyboard and the status bar are exported as folders. So we can actually just drag in the elements from the folders. And this should work out fine, hopefully. Yeah, just drag them into this and here we have our elements. So now let's arrange them. The keyboard will be 
at the bottom, what won't be displayed, we have the bad bitmap image at the top. For some reason, the elements right here aren't really um, of the right size, but never mind that. Just drag them to the correct position. You can also, of course, just do it with these shortcuts right here. Then we need our form. And let's recreate the button. As I said, we can create a rectangle. And we simply need to drag it to the correct position. Then we need to fill it with this green. And we need a text layer on top of that that says create account with a white color. And it should be centered at this bottom area. So let's just look that it looks the same. And yeah, it looks quite good. Let's check that all the different um, values are correct right here. And they are. So what we are going to do now is to copy this artboard so that we have a second version of it because we need the second version as we want to, the keyboard to slide out from the bottom. That means in our first artboard we have to make it visible and we have to drag it all the way down so we don't see it anymore. Like this, somewhere like this. And you will see but then after that that in our second screen, I can also show this to you right now, the artboard will uh, come out. So imagine our, one of our users is tapping this area to type in something, then we hit this thunder lightning thing and we can drag a tap to our second screen like this. And now we can drag this and you see that the keyboard is actually coming up. And this isn't a problem for the email and for the username, you can type these two things in without any problems. But if you would like to type in a password and to confirm the password, you don't have space right here. So what we are going to do is to slide up all the content from, the, from this position to a position at this top area. But before doing that, we will need a white layer that is behind our um, form. So let's just grab another rectangle. Let's scale it and it should be just white like this. And I also just copy and paste it to the second layer, uh, to the second artboard. Now, for some reason this, uh, I also see this, the status bar looks kind of weird. Let's make this status bar a bit smaller so that it looks correct positioned. That's not our main problem right here, but let's just make sure that it looks correct. I simply paste it to this one and there we have it. Make sure that the layers are have the same name in both artboards. Layer 2, layer 2 is the, the background color, the white layer. And right now we are repositioning all our elements in the second screen. They have the same name so they will have an, an effect applied, which you can see in the um, animate panel right here. If you select our arrow, you see all the elements that have an effect applied to them. So what we are going to do now at first is to reposition the email and the background layer because we want to seed all the content 
that is right here. So we are simply positioning them like this. And now we also of course have to uh, reposition the background photo and top information. We could reposition, as I said, the photo, of course, like this. Let me show it to you how it looks right now. So our photo is simply sliding up with our content. That's one of the first versions. But let's also copy the second artboard and then we can so then I can show you uh, something different. So let me get rid of this first effect or animation transition. And what I want to do right now is to leave the photo at its initial state, like this. So only the sign up, sign in tabs and our content is going to slide up. Again, select the form tab and this time we will select this third screen and what is going to happen now is that the content only is sliding up but not the photo. So you see that this is another effect and I'm going to show to you what we can do to um, test out both versions. So you see we have the content right here but we can of course create clickable areas in principle which is easy, just create a new rectangle and let's say if the user is tapping the first entry or the first two of them, we are going to redirect him to the second screen and if the user is tapping the, one of the password, confirmation password uh, input fields, we are going to redirect him to the third screen. So let's fill this white. And let's change the opacity to just 1%. Not sure if you can also do it with 0%. Let's try this out. And this is going to be our clickable area, which will link to our second screen. We can copy this layer and drag it to our bottom part, where we are going to create a animation to the third artboard or third screen. So you see now that this is just happening, what we wanted to do. I don't really like the effect or uh, the size of the keyboard. So, so let's just realign the keyboard so it's matching our uh, screens. Like that and Oops, like that. So now these elements look correct and I am going to show it to you again. This click is going to be to this screen where our photo is sliding up and this click or tab is going to redirect us to the third screen which is only sliding up our content, not the photo. You can decide what you like more. I see some apps like uh, Twitter and so on using the first approach. So you have to decide what your developer should do because initially they don't really know should they do this animation or should they do this animation. And you have to tell them what thing to do so they can create a nice solution and they want to build a great product, you want to build a great product. So just keep that in mind. This is a small hint in one of the first videos about this real life designer problems and I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for your time. You can download all the resources like the sketch file and the principal file down in the video description and if you liked the video give me a thumb up or subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you for your time guys and enjoy your week. See you.